Hi, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. Today I'm going to show you some gameplay from Path of Exile's Forsaken Masters expansion. This is my player's hideout. It's basically a form of player housing that we've added in this expansion. You have the ability to go into edit mode and manipulate the objects. For example, I can move the well over here, I can move the sky over to by the fire, you can rotate objects, change the variation, and so on. One of the cool things about hideouts is that you have the ability to invite various masters there who can train you. This is Vagan Weapon Master, and he can train me in various types of combat and help me craft different weapons. Now one of the cool things that he does is he lets you buy different decorations for the hideout. Your service. I've been saving up in order to get this one, which is a cool machine that I can place next to the fire over there. I don't quite have enough favor yet to purchase it, so I plan to do today's daily mission to earn that favor. So if I select the daily mission, he'll explain what I need to do. Fancy a fight, do you? A right sucker for punishment you are. And then he spawns a portal that he enters. Once you spawn in the area, it's good to put your skills on that you need before combat, and then go and find Vagan for a duel. This master's particular mission Let me bend your ear for a moment. involves him challenging you to a fight, to both improve your abilities and see if you can best him. A fighter that stops learning is a fighter that starts dying, as my old man would oft say. So, Exile, which of those options do you fancy today? So here's how this works. You take a crack at me, your very best shot. I win, you die. You win, and... I'm not actually sure, to tell the truth. Doesn't happen very often. Are you game? Well, he talks a big talk, but let's see how he holds up. Okay, so he's summoned a ring of fire around him. This keeps me locked into the middle. Okay, I've cursed him. I think I have the advantage with range, as long as I can keep away from his leap slams. Okay, great. So I'll just grab the items he dropped. And talk to him. Now that was a fight even Doresso would have been proud of. So this has increased my reputation with him, and also given me some favor that allows me to purchase the decoration I've been looking for. Now that I'm back in town, I can purchase the decoration I wanted. Happy to share my hard-earned wisdom with you, Exile. I have enough favor. Great. So now I can place this wherever I want in town. It's not the most aesthetic thing, but it looks pretty awesome. You can also change the variation to look different, potentially move the fireplace to light the scene differently. Now that my decoration is complete, I'm going to go and check to see if Elrion, the other master that I have in my hideout, has any kind of daily mission for me. So here's Elrion down here, next to his blessing font. This is a type of crafting object that allows me to craft different properties onto my rings and amulets. So I'll have a look to see what he can craft onto my ring. He's offering quite a lot of different stuff. I'm probably going to select this energy shield one here. This is crafted on as an additional mod. What can I do for you, Exile? So Elrion does have a daily mission for me. His one is quite interesting. It involves defending a relic from different invaders. So you're in a smiting mood, are you? Good. So am I. And I found just the holy spot for a hopeless last stand against the hordes of corruption. I'm gonna follow him and see what I find there. God bless you on this fine day, Exile. I'm in the mood for some smiting. How about you, Exile? Any moment now, this holy spot's going to be buried in filth. The Corrupted will pour in here, bent on eclipsing anything and everything that has been touched by divinity. I hope you're good with the shovel, Exile. Glory to the pure and mercy to the fallen. Okay, let's see how difficult this is. It looks like I have to defend the relic, which has life regeneration conveniently. Ah, they're coming from all directions. Wait, they explode? Okay. I see why the relic has life regeneration in this variant. There are so many different ways that the missions play out. The monsters vary, the relics have different properties, interesting mods in the fight. I have not played this variation before myself. How's the relic doing? Good, it's still got a decent amount of life left. So I defended it from enough waves. It's us or them, Crusader. Us or them. So that's interesting. Elrion is now leveled up to level 4. This means that when I meet him back in the hideout, he'll hopefully have some new items in the shop for me. Now I'm not just talking about his actual decoration shop, but he also Another offers normal items for sale. Nation. 
So looking at his stock here, he has a rare item, some skill gems. These are things that aren't normally available in the vendor shops in Path of Exile, but once you've leveled your master up sufficiently, they are there. We'll be releasing Path of Exile Forsaken Masters this Wednesday at 3pm Pacific Time. We look forward to seeing you in Rycluster.